This is Asian TV Heritage Network. The next program has been approved for all audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Uh, first of all, congratulations for the success of this event. And you're back after three years, right? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, been a uh, long time. Uh, we have so many people requesting for us to come. And we couldn't because of the pandemic. the staff of the Malaysian Embassy that yes this is a Malaysian company yes. yeah. and uh, uh, how many years have you been here uh, except the three years that you were not around this is our third event here and this is the biggest right so this is our third event here uh -huh. uh, it's the it's not the biggest, but we have the most titles. Yeah. Because right now, we know after a few years here and a few online sales, we know what the girls we don't like to read. So with all our data, you know, we are catering the better. Yeah, mine. Yeah. Ah, yes. yeah. So, so we do have uh, almost double the titles compared to the last year. Okay. Uh, this is Chiru from Asia TV. So we'll just go. Okay. Join interview. Hi, sir. Uh, please tell us your name. My name is Andrew Yap. I'm the co-founder of Apple. Apa kabar? Kabar baik. So, uh, why did you choose Philippines to launch this kind of uh, program or activity? I think um, we, we are a global company and uh, we are mission based and we want to change the world through And we know how much Filipino love reading. And we realize that. Um, it's an issue of uh, affordable and accessible for people to read. So that's why we are here making millions of books and making it affordable for everyone. Your message to all the people who want to come here until July. Invite would, them, please. I would, I would like to invite everybody to come here to PICC from now until the end of July. We have they're actually surprised because it's, they, they thought that it's, there's like an error on the poster but guys uh, it's really 1 a.m yes. <laughs> when I posted it last time yes, it is 1 a.m and uh, previously we used to be 24 hours and uh, but you know, because post pandemic sort of uh, Fine behaviors have changed. And finally, please describe your company in three words. Our company's mission is to create, inspire, and to motivate. Perfect. And why Big Bad Wolf? Big Bad Wolf because, you see, if you want to change the world, you know, through books, we have to start with the children. And children can relate to a character. Uh -huh. so, Choosing a character that is easy recognizable by the children and you know it's a it's a naughty name and the children always you know at any story there's always a incident or bad character. Right. Uh, so, red riding hood. Yes, yeah, correct. So that's why we use Big Bear so that you know people can remember and it's easy for the kids to relate. We come to the event to get excited. You know, we want the kids to be able to bring the parents, instead of the parents bringing the kids, we want the kids to, to force the parents to take them to the sale. So we created an event, you know, around them. Okay, so can you explain that? Yeah, so Red Reader Good is our Big Bell initiative, you know, to donate um, to the underprivileged, right? And uh, the donations will go to Gawad Kadiga. Uh -huh. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been partnered with our Kariga since uh, the beginning of Big Bear Wolf in the Philippines since 2018. So, how is the project? The, the collaboration is amazing. Uh, what we do is we help GK form libraries, and then whenever they have any disaster relief, we uh, also give books, you know, to, to to the kids and all you know, when, when during a disaster. 
So your company is a global company and you have gone around the world. How is Philippines different? I would say that uh, the warm welcome we get in the Philippines is uh, the best you know, compared to all the other countries. Uh, the, the Filipinos love for reading is probably number one in the world. We, we, we've never seen such a country with so much passionate for reading. 